on Fat Man Makes, I want to discuss curing hollowed out resin prints. So I have my, my Rick from Rick and Morty. Um, he was printed standard layer height. Uh, he is hollowed out and if you can see, if we can get a focus here, I have uh, an air hole here and I also have two air holes in the crotch area. Uh, so, you know, when you, when you hollow out models, you need to put holes in it so any of the resin inside can drain, you know, and most of us know that. The difficulty is curing inside the model. So print, I did use the water bath method. In theory, when he's full of water, the light should refract all around and get inside and cure him internally. You know, he's a, He's a little tacky and red here, and it looks like some of the resin while he was drying did leak out a little and you know made him just a little tacky in the pants area. So I've been working on a solution to make sure that he's cured inside and outside, and I've come up with with this solution that and it seems to work really well. So again, this is, you know, standard light Amazon. I think it was like 10 bucks. This guy on threads and you have the LED in here and there is a, you know, like a magnifying lens in there to help focus it. Um, so what I've come up with is this and I have a couple, couple pieces. This is just some cheap fiber optic so this is the solution I came up with I have um I have a cap here that threads into the end of the flashlight like so and then basically what I did is I've I have a wedge here that slides on to the fiber optic and then it cradles in here and then there's a screw on cap so you screw this together and if you tighten it down it'll pinch the fiber optic and hold it and let me just show you what this looks like you know it's it's hard to see I don't know can you, can you see the light yeah you can comes out the side you get a little bleed through on the sides but it comes out the front pretty bright and let me just show you how how I tune this guy and I'm gonna hit the lights real quick all right here we are and you can see it now um, and I'm gonna use this little white base to kind of help tune so um, on this flashlight the end slides in and out and you can see that that is for like a tight beam or a wide beam. So when we push it all the way in, we can see the light gets brighter. And then um, you can also, while you're adjusting here, you can push in and out on this fiber optic. And we can see when we push it in and tighten it down, we get a fairly strong light so and like I said you can see it kind of you know it it bleeds out a little on the sides but not really the majority of the light is coming out through all right so you know we can feed the light in through one of these holes and work it up and down inside to make sure that the main cavity is cured and then we can do that from you know the top going down also and make sure that he 
is cured and that light goes all the way down. And that's it. And let me switch out the fiber from the two millimeter to three millimeter. Uh, you know, it was a good trade off between too small and too large. So, um, and you know, obviously the, the larger it is, the more light you'll get through it. And you can see here, you know, it's definitely brighter. Let me hit the lights real quick again. Okay, so we can see, look, there's uh, that plate is is brighter than it was with the, the two millimeter. And you can see it here again. You know, it gives off a decent amount of light through that, that fiber optic. So yeah, I think it's, uh, I think it's gonna work out really well. And you know, I'm, I'm excited about this and I wanna know what you guys think. Has anybody else tried it out? You know, and I've seen a couple other videos out there with like in, uh, a UV LED and the LEDs are are bigger than the fiber optic cables and you know these cables are more flexible so you can kind of get them in more places as you saw here I mean look at the look at his neck really it's it's not it's not that thick and the the two millimeter fiber optic went all the way up to his hair so you know it was fairly easy to get through the majority of his body cavity without any issues at all. And, and like I said, I think the, the th three millimeter is, it's a little big and it's not definitely not as flexible as the two millimeter is. Two millimeter is definitely a lot more flexible than the three, but, um, you get, yeah, like I said, it's a trade off. You get more light with the three, and, but you also have a bigger hole that you have to deal with and, and hide when the, the model's finished. So, you know, I really want to know what you guys think. I think it's a pretty cool idea. Hit me up in the comments below. You know, if, if you learned something here, please like the video and tell me what else you want to see.